My name is Ron Burns. I'm the past chairman of the Days of 76. I was the chairman in 2001 and again in 2016. This is the parade chairman for approximately 25 years. Um, I retired from the Days of 76 uh, approximately three years ago, my wife and I, and just thinking they needed new blood in and younger people that could do this stuff. The Days of 76 this year is our 100th anniversary. It's gonna be quite a celebration. Our parade is more of a, telling the story of the Deadwood and the Black Hills area, with the, starting with the Native Americans going on to the fur trappers, then to the gold miners, then to the Wild Bill Hickok, Calamity Jane, uh, Charlie Utter type thing, and then on to uh, the modern day cowboy. So it's kind of a pageant that tells the story of the gulch from 1876 and past that actually with the Native Americans. We're standing here in the Days of 76 Museum that houses our carriages that we use for the parade. There's approximately 60 vehicles in here and probably uh, 50 of them or 55 will go up the street drawn by volunteers uh, with their horses and stuff like that. We're standing in front of the Deadwood stage. This is the original stage. It is now retired. It stays in the museum. We have three stage coaches. Two of them will go up the street. This one will stay here in the museum. This will be their 100th year for the Bouchon family to pull that stagecoach. And uh, it's quite a tribute to their family, uh, to the dedication to the Days of 76 by that family. In front of one of our chuck wagons, we have two chuck wagons here in the museum. Uh, they go up the street. They're pulled by volunteers that come to the Days of 76 parade from all over the country. This particular one, is an exceptionally wonderful piece. It's uh, outfitted with all the things that you would see as they came across the country, setting up on a cattle drive. They would have all this tack and gear and water barrels. So it's, it's just a wonderful piece that we have here in the museum and uh, we're just lucky to have it. The dray wagon, uh, this is how the freight was loaded off of the, the rail cars once they got here and moved around town. You can see the height of the wagon. They could back straight up to the side of a loading dock and just everything was straight off. Um, so this was the, the mode of transportation around town. It was like the, the modern day trucks where they're hauling freight in town. So. That's what this was. Uh, this one was pulled by a couple of mules that we have demonstrated here. It's got a fifth wheel hitch. They could back these up. It was just like uh, the semis of today where they could back right up to a dock and nice and straight. It had a short turning radius and uh, an excellent piece to get around town here in. The freight wagon, uh, this would have been pulled by 10 to 12 oxen as it came from the Missouri River out to the Black Hills. That's how all the freight got out here before there was a railroad or anything. There would have been two of these uh, hooked together. Uh, there would have been a pup on the back, identical to this one, and uh, been loaded down with all the freight. Uh, and I mean, everything that uh, the home state could, could think of when they were first getting started, all their heavy mining equipment and all the supplies coming out for the miners would have come out in a wagon similar to this one. So you'd have had 10 to 12 oxen out front pulling on this. And it, it was a slow process. It probably took them 10 days to 15 days to get across that uh, stretch of prairie. Uh, we have four hearse in our museum, uh, two black ones, a brown one, and this white one. We send three of them up the street for the parade to send up two blacks and the, this white one. The white one was for children. Uh, the black ones were just for every day, but you can see they're very ornate. They're a beautiful piece. They're actually from 1880 era. They're originals. So this stagecoach is uh, one that goes up the street and it's actually used during the rodeo. This is the one that they use for the uh, stagecoach holdup during the rodeo. You'll see that uh, as you go to the rodeo and the Again, uh, this one is pulled by the, the Bashan family that I mentioned for the 100th year. They've uh, pulled it all 100 years of our celebration 
It's a, a wonderful piece. It was actually a replica of the original that we showed earlier, and it was built by Doug Hansen out of Letcher, South Dakota. Um, and he's done a wonderful job building these uh, for us and uh, keeping them maintained for us. This is just a small sample of the wagons and carriages and buggies that we have in the Days of 76 Museum. I would invite everybody to come to our parade. The parade is on Friday at 1.30 and Saturday at 10 a.m. And the, that's always the last week of July. So on behalf of the Days of 76 Committee, I would invite everybody to come and enjoy the parade. It's going to be a pageant that you'll want to see and you'll want to come early because once they block the streets off, you can't get through. So please come and enjoy.